my subscribers. Yeah. It's Nigel D. Salmon, and I'm coming to you from Pool Cool Mandeville. Ah, absolutely cool. I have to admit it, it's absolutely cool up here. And in this video, I'm going to be exploring the Mandeville Public Cemetery. And you, you may ask, why am I even going there? Well, if you notice on this channel, I, I, you know, talk about people, places, and things that seem to be forgotten. And in this video, um, the Mandeville Public Cemetery is almost a forgotten place. And here in Mandeville, it's Friday, it's a Friday, so I start the video, I wanted to start the video in the town, but there were too many music, and I, I actually get a, a copyright strike on my channel before, I don't want another one, so, and it, the town was really, really um, busy. There's a lot of traffic. So, here, less traffic, so I decided that it's best to start the video here. And, Mandeville is really busy, so I was walking on Manchester Road. I didn't know that. I just saw it. Just, I just saw the sign. So now I'm turning on Grove Road. So many of you who are in, many of you who are in um, Manchester, you know Grove Road. Alright, so the, the, Man, the Mandeville Public Cemetery, you have to call, come along Grove Road to get there. So I, I was walking on Manchester Road, now I turn over to Grove Road. And Mandeville is a historic town, very historic. I think it started out in the 1700s in a town and as I walk along I can see a lot of um, can see a lot of old buildings even though there are pretty much many new ones now there are many new ones now So, we're continuing on Grove Road. You can see a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic piling up here. And this is not even on the main street. You can see, look at those cars on the, on, on the, the right. I couldn't start the video in the town, really. There was just too much traffic and music. So we are going up Grove Road and we are heading to... Going up Grove Road and we are heading to the Mandeville Public Cemetery. There is a sign. There's a sign right over there. I want to walk over to this sign. 
and it says right here it says notice Mandeville Cemetery is officially closed for burial sorry for the inconvenience caused now we are turning up towards the cemetery now so the cemetery was officially closed um, and I'm assuming when a cemetery is closed what they are saying pretty much is that there's no more space right that's that's how, that's one of the big reasons why people they would close the cemetery the cemetery is managed by the parish council it is managed by the parish council and as i say to you there are a lot of old buildings up here in mandeville look at that over there you see a lot of old buildings and this road that i just turned onto oh so much peace so much peace on this road there's <laughs> it's like the traffic doesn't move on this road like the traffic doesn't move on this road at all is it because there are a lot of dead people up here dead people tend to be quiet you know and silent well that's not the case you can see there are many houses here people live here so no it's not because there are dead people up here why it's so quiet extremely quiet Just listen to the quiet. So so much it's so peaceful around here. Hundreds, thousands of people who are dead. They keep up here quiet. They're not making any noise. <laughs> ah. So we are close to the cemetery now. Look at that house down there. You remember those type of houses? <laughs> All right, I'm going to get the camera off there. Yeah, those houses are like from the days of Marcus Garvey. All right. So. We now reach. What a nice that truck make. Oh my god. Look at that house down there again. That's another house from the from the 1900s, man. They're very comfortable houses, you know. <laughs> very comfortable. Alright, so we're at the gate now at of the Mandeville Public Cemetery. This is it. And I'm gonna go over to show you the state of this cemetery there is a gate um, let me see if I can actually open it uh, I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to open this thing uh, the last time I came here I it wasn't closed push the sting right back here I just did a bad thing right I locked myself inside of a cemetery how stupid <laughs> oh my god I see dead people <laughs> all right so we're in to in Mandeville public cemetery it's very cool up here very cool and there are just lots and lots of graves from way back. Let me let me look at just a grave here. 
right? Alright, so here is a grave that says Percival Powell born the 22nd of the 11th, 1895, died the 18th of the 4th, 1963. Here's another one. This is says in loving memory, in loving memory of a dear mother and grandmother, Ina Gerald Gerard, born 1913, died 1992. Okay, Miss Ina. Did I see these two graves when I came up here the last time? Did I? Hmm. They are pretty much new. Uh, says in loving memory of Sylvester Augustus Smith. Born 1929, died 2005. So these two are recent. These two are recent. All right, so the cemetery, if you look at that structure right in front of me, that structure, it used to be like a little chapel. Okay, so when they bring persons who did not go to a church, they would just come here, people will gather, they have the casket, and then after that, they would then head over to the grave they, to, to put the casket in. Um, in the early days, there were a lot of burials here. This grave was a wonderful looking grave. Nowadays, you can see it was torn down. Um, the, the casket was removed. I'm not sure if it is the family that moved it or, or if it was moved by thieves. Yeah, thieves, thieves have a tendency to target um, graves. And this one, this is new. This is a new one. In love in memory of a dear wife and mother. Luna Ferron. Luna Ferron. And she, she was born 1944, died 19, no, died 2010. Here again we have more graves. This one is of the coal. Um, in husband and wife. Husband and wife right here. Let's, let's explore a little more. So, the cemetery, as I said, it was man, it is managed by the parish council, Manchester Parish Council. Uh, the first time I came up here was when I was doing the video on on um, Cecil Charlton, and Cecil Charlton was the longest mayor of the Manchester Parish Council and his wife is buried up here his mother and father are buried up here also and I was trying to find them but the first time I came here there were a lot of bush 
a lot of bush. I come in here now, I can see a little work has been done to make it more easier to explore. Why do I feel like I need to see this one? Oh, I can't show that well. People are still being buried here. So, as far as the eyes can look, the caretaker is not here today. Maybe that's why the door, the, the gate was locked. Um, and there are famous people buried here. I saw that grave all the way over there. You see that grave, that white um, grave there with two graves in it? I want to see who's buried over there. Some of these graves are buried. And you got to be careful because with no one here, I don't want to fall into something and then can't get out, right? So, okay, look at this one. Let me see who this is. Oh, this is a beetle. Born 1915, died 2011. Let's see who's buried here. Oh, this one is rubbed out a little. Oh my, look at this one now over here. Okay, look at that grave. It's, <laughs> it's, like, it's like completely torn off. And there are a lot of bushes growing up in it. It doesn't matter when you're dead, you know, because it might feel a way to those who are alive. I'm looking at this person here. He's died in the 80s. It doesn't matter when you're dead. You're not in that body anymore. So even if your grave got gets... I have to be careful when I'm walking on top of these things in the cars. Wow, this looked like it was just placed here. That's why I'm telling you. Even though they said that no one is buried here. Great, it has been closed. Look at this one. This is pretty much new. Because two persons are buried here. Um, one is Winsor. Winsor. And the other one is, I'm trying to get some of the light here. But this is a nice grave. It was just placed here. Think about videoing in the sun. After a time, your phone gets really hot. And then it turns off. Here is the grave of Charles Robert Thompson. He died in 1978. Such a long time ago, Charles. They just cover up that one. I can hardly even see it. Oh, you know what I think? I don't... Okay. I'm not gonna bother say that. It's a grave all the way over here. All the way in this little bush. Right over there. I'm not gonna bother go over there. You see all that bushes that you see over there, there are graves there. There are graves in there. And so if you are looking for someone who died like way back in the like in the sixties. 60s. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Nice. Oh my God. All right.
Okay. So if you're looking for someone who's buried way back, it's gonna be a difficult thing to find them. This is the grave of Oh, he was young. Andre K. Collins. Andre K. Collins. And it say he was born the eighth of the eighth, nineteen eighty-nine. I was already around. And then he died in 2007 so if you check it up he would have been oh my lord he would have been 18 years old 1989 to 2007 right no that's that 18 yeah he would have been 18 he was a young guy uh, I wonder if I could search him up and see if I could find out anything about him. Probably not. But he was buried over here. And such, he has a sturdy grave though. He has a sturdy grave. I'm sure the place wasn't so bushy when the family came to have the funeral. Uh, here's the grave of somebody else. Just sucked away in this little bush, huh? No, nobody to read about you, right? Say, in sacred memory. <laughs> the, 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 the breeze blow the, blow the bush, right? I go, I see, right? <laughs> it was something coming at me. Alright, so you say, in sacred memory of Ramsey Chung, 1938 to 1978. Chang, that sound like he was Chinese or of Chinese descent. Oh my god, there's so many graves here. All these little bushes. Somebody's body is buried there. So, you see the problem with places place is controlled by the government and I'm just gonna say it. the problem with places controlled by the government is that there's not enough funds not enough funds to keep things up to keep things going and where did all those look things came from those look because they build this grave they build this grave and then decided to see all those little pre pre-made concrete. And then you see a headstone shown over here. Could could this be the headstone of the same people who are buried here? No. What did they do? Dig up somebody's grave and and build this on top. I don't know what's going on here. I don't want to expose anything and then put myself into trouble, right? So, I'm walking through all this bush, I'm so scared that I might fall into something. So, I'm, the reason I'm coming all over, I want to see who's buried over that big white grave here. Let me see who's buried here. Something Mitchell died in 1950. This person don't have anything on it. You know, this is how my friend Jason was buried. And his family didn't put anything on it. That's so bad. I hope they do. I don't want to step on this. Uh, but I have to. Oh my God! Jesus of mercy! Don't let me fall into something. All right. Woo! Finally here, right? Finally here. And they say, in loving memory of their wife, I sealed up Curtin, born 1923, died 2000, and the other one is. Michael James Curtin in loving memory of father, grandfather. He died 2019. So he died like 19 years after I sealed her. 
as we are talking, look at that house up there. It looked like a house you would see in a horror movie, not you? Look at it. <laughs> It's like a house you would see in a horror movie. It looks nice, but you don't want to go close to it. And I think that's Mr. Bunting's house over there. Bunting. PNP. He was once the um, member of parliament for central Manchester. And I think he'll be going for it in the next election, right? Who is this? Alright guys, so I'm just going to do a little more tour of the cemetery and then I'm going to head back to St. Elizabeth. So again, let's just take a little more tour of the Mandeville Public Cemetery and then we go back to things as usual. So as I look out, this is um, I think it what what did, I think it's four acres of land, just filled with tombs. So I'm moving from the old chapel, and I'm gonna just take another tour on the other side here of the Mandeville Public Cemetery. Look at this place; it's it's covered with a lot of grass. Just a lot of grass covering this place. And all the way up into that bushes. When I spoke to the caretaker the first time I came here, he said that some of the individuals buried here are... Some were gunmen and they just buried them without casket and this look recent this look recent I wonder how maybe I don't think it's reason it must have been the, the, the tomb that's recent and it says Leslie A. Mac McLean departed 1994 so I guess some family were here the family was here and they tomb it, tomb it up. I can't remember seeing it. So this is lovely for Leslie who died way back in 1994. Oh, 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 what's this? Some of the tombs here, they are in, um, they are grilled around. Which means that they were properly done at the time that these people died. And you could walk and you could walk in grasses. There's no tomb right here. There's no tomb in here. This is just the road. Seems as if some car or something must have driven here before. So if you have never seen the Mandeville Public Cemetery, this is it. And pretty much every public cemetery in Jamaica has fallen into disrepair or neglect. You know? All of them there. We could just go on and on. Oh, look at this one here. This is an open tomb. This is an open tomb, and you can literally see a casket. Oh my god, look at that. Alright, let me zoom back in, look at that. That's actually the casket. And you have the little part there that you could open. And so I don't know who's buried here. It could be a woman, it could be a man. Let me see if there's a tomb. Let me see if there is a headstone for this one. Let me see. Okay. No. So this person.
person who was buried here. This person who was buried here was buried in a coffin. You call that a coffin. So, and you can see they put, they put the, um, the wreath on it. And that's the part that they would open. I don't know, this broke right off. broke right off. Oh, seemed like it was a woman. Alright. So you can go right around and all these graves. Some of them here a very long time. And as I said before, this is what you get from a public cemetery. This grave was really grilled around and then look at it now. This must have been a little baby. Let me see. Oh, this is very small. Because even if you're a midget, they really don't bury you. I think it was a baby. Look at this thing. It's like they had a little play play car. <laughs> oh, oh my God. They have a little play, play play car right here. And what it has been many years. I can't even see how long this little baby boy or girl was buried there. But even in death they try to give him or her a little play toy, right? To play with. I love this grave. This looks like a really nice grave. Uh, let me see who's buried here. I don't think I'm gonna make that out. Alright guys, so this is the Mandeville Public Cemetery. If you have anyone buried here from a long time ago, I'm telling you, you are gonna have a hard time finding that individual if that individual is buried out in the cemetery and hopefully is not that grave that I just look at because that's not nice that nobody picks it up rain come sun come all right so from the Mandeville Public Cemetery, this is Nigel D. Summon, and remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more interesting videos like this.